It's time for some father-son Minecraft. Are you ready, Seth? I think he's ready. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Minecraft, and also a big welcome to a very special guest. It's everybody's favorite baby of Kindly Kian, because he's the only baby that I have. It's none other than Seth. Kindly Seth. No, you need to think of your own name, Seth. How about Serious Seth? Look at how serious he is. He's serious about Minecraft. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to bring Seth back, and I thought, what better game to bond father and son, adult and child or baby, whatever you want to call him, than Minecraft. Minecraft brings people of all ages together, and so it is father-son Minecraft time. Let's do this. We're just going to be playing a normal world like just a standard survival world we don't have any kinds of mods set up so we're just gonna call it father son survival you know add some some dark undertones we must survive together in the wilderness you and me seth now this is going to be seth's first time seeing and playing minecraft i mean he's not really playing he can't really reach the keyboard although he is very interested in the keyboard that's what he's looking at right now but I am also kind of a noob at Minecraft it's gonna take some time for me to get the hang of things once again but I'm gonna do my best and I know that every good Minecraft survival world playthrough begins with punching trees Seth these are life lessons that you're gonna have to remember because I will probably forget them. If you're lost in the wilderness, Seth, even in the real wilderness, just punch trees, I guess. Although that seems like a really bad idea. You're gonna really hurt your, your fists, your fingers, your hands. I don't know, but in Minecraft, it's always good to punch trees. He is fascinated by me punching trees right now. He's really, dad, that tree, you just punched it. And I'm like, yeah, I did. But in case you guys were wondering, Seth is now four and a half months old. He's, he's going on five months. I think the last time that I had him in a video, he was two and a half, maybe three months old. He's getting bigger and bigger every single day. I mean, it's crazy how fast these kids grow. He's only five months old and every day he's, he's advancing, he's, you know, new things happen. He, he finds a, a new thing that he can do. Like, like yesterday, he started chewing on his toes, which, what, gross. But, you know, babies do as babies do. Now I hear a zombie. There's a zombie nearby. Seth, do you hear this creature? I hear it, but I don't see it. Maybe it's underneath us. Oh, actually, I think there is a cavern. Okay, yeah, we don't wanna go down there quite yet. We gotta work on punching trees, and we gotta work on building our shelter, of course. Every Minecraft survival must begin with building a shelter. So we have to build our home together, and what I should probably do is start actually, you know, crafting stuff. So let's make some oak logs, what do you say? All right, we got quite a few. We got 68. And then let's uh, let's make ourselves a crafting table, okay? See, I'm not too bad. We kind of want to figure out like where our home base, our operation is going to begin at. I kind of like this spot. We have like a, a, a cave there with a spider in it. You see that spider, Seth? We don't want to mess with that dude. Let's not mess with him right now. We don't have any weapons to defend ourselves with. Let's build here. I think this is where our first shelter, maybe our house is gonna be for the time being. And then let's get ourselves some tools. We gotta get ourselves set up with some good old fashioned, you know, defense mechanisms. Oh, he's hitting the keyboard. Man, he really wants to play. All right, I'm gonna make myself a wooden sword. Maybe we'll move on to some other materials in a little bit, I don't know. We're kind of winging it right now. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've just played normal Minecraft survival and even longer since I've played normal Minecraft survival on PC. I played the majority of my Minecraft career in Xbox 360. That's how far back I go is when it came out for the Xbox 360. I had to get all those Minecraft achievements. All right, we're chopping down more trees. This tree is an annoying one because it's got all kinds of logs going every which way. So it's going to be a floating tree. And it, I know some of you might be disturbed by floating trees. I know some people are very particular about chopping down trees. I am not one of those people. I don't care if I have floating trees. He is hitting the keyboard. Seth wants to play. Go for it, man. I'm, li listen, you do it. Here, look, 
You hit W right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's he's doing it. Is he doing it? Go. Hit that button. Hit that button. Oh, he wants to press it. Oh, he did that. Seth is a Minecraft master here. I'm going to bring the keyboard a little bit closer to him so that he can really reach the keys. He's jumping. No, I think that was just like his tummy bumping into the keyboard, but he did that. Seth, you are a Minecraft savant. You're the Minecraft Lord that we've all been waiting for. You are going to be the master of all Minecrafts. Ooh. I don't even know what that means. All right, dad's gonna take control again. It's nothing personal, but you know, you, you kind of, all you did was move us sideways. And we're gonna die if, if that's all we can do. So let's build some more planks so that we can build our, our home. We need protection from the night sky. You can see the sun is already, it's already noon. It's noon o'clock. So let's build around our uh, our little crafting table here. We're not gonna build anything too elaborate. We're gonna start off very, very simple, Seth. A simple structure that will protect us from the evils of the outside world. We need a door. Let's put the door right here and let's craft ourselves a door. How do you make a door? I think it's this. Oh! Who is not the biggest Minecraft noob in the world? This guy. He's really fascinated by the keyboard. I know my keyboard lights up, but he's looking more at the keyboard than he's looking at the, the screen, <laughs> the actual game. Okay, our home is, is coming together. I don't know if I can really call this a home. It's cozy, at least it's got that going for it. But aside from that, it's, it's kind of boring. I'm sorry that it's so boring, Seth. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go up one more level, although I am out of wood. Shoot. We'll do one more level on the roof and then we'll fill it in. But we are gonna have to go get some more wood. Okay, Seth, the time has come to go collect more tree stumps. I know, it's very exciting. Okay, we got ourselves some birch. We got a new recipe. Slightly lighter wood planks. What are these over here? Those trees are different. I want to see these trees. Hey, look, cows. This is a cow eat cow world. We're going to have to kill some cows, Seth. I'm going to teach you a life lesson here. Cows make beef and beef is delicious and keeps you alive in Minecraft. So we're going to have to kill some cows. I'm sorry. This is going to be a little graphic, Seth. I'm so sorry. All right. We got some meat. We got some leather. We can make ourselves some armor. Ooh, we got horses. Let's go say hi to the horses. Let's go say hi to the horses. Ooh, Seth likes the horses. And then we got this, I think this is acacia wood. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, let's check the inventory here. Yeah, acacia, yeah. It's like orange. It's kind of ugly, honestly. What do you think of the horses, Seth? Look at them, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. And we got chickens over there, which we might murder for chicken. Look at him, he's so sweet. Can't help but notice that the sun is going down and uh that's kind of scary so um we gotta get back home seth there are going to be monsters about and i do not want to mess with monsters we already saw a spider earlier and it did not look like a friendly spider it looked like a very mean unfriendly spider so let's get out of here here let's oh gosh there's the moon okay we gotta get out our sword seth we gotta get home we gotta get home kiddo where is home there it is. <gasps> There's a zombie over there. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna protect us both. Get this guy, get him, get him. He's dead. We've done it, Monster Hunter. Look at me. I've saved us, I've protected us, and there is our home. <gasps> spider. Oh, oh, no, 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 bad spider, bad. Stay, stay away. Get away from me and my son. Stay away. Okay, spider defeated. <gasps> Whew, I think he's proud of me. I saw a little smile there. Are you proud of me, Seth? I defended us against the spiders. Oh, that was that was getting intense. All right, um, right, let's, let's make some more logs. Actually, we can make some acacia planks, which are incredibly orange. And you know what? Why don't we make our roof out of acacia? If we're offended by it, maybe the monsters will be offended by it. And they'll be like, ew, that roof is so ugly. I don't even want to attack the people that live in that house. Let's go with that. So let's fill in the roof here so that no spiders can get in. It's really just the spiders you have to worry about getting inside of your unroofed house. So let's get this, let's get this place spider proofed. Whew, that is an ugly roof. Oh boy. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. We're just, we're gonna have to use oak wood 
to uh, to finish off our roof, even though it's not going to match at all. There's an Enderman over there. Don't worry, Endermans are our Friendermans, unless you look at them in the eyes. Don't look at them in the eyes. Another life lesson. If you ever run into an Enderman in real life, don't look him in the eye. Oh, there's skeletons over there. Oh, Seth. Oh, look, look, look. You see him? There's a creeper. There's also, oh my gosh. Okay, we're leaving. We're out of here. I'm out of here. I'm never looking back. Oh my gosh. There's so many baddies out there. I don't like it. They're so mean. They just want to hurt me. All right, let's fill in the rest of our roof, even though it's not going to match. It's so hideous. I actually want to fix this and at least make this somewhat match. There goes my axe. So that's fun. Okay, this matches now and now we're, we're trapped inside, but we can do some mining. So why don't we actually do some mining? I need to make myself a shovel, which I think is just this. Yeah, okay. He still got it. Sort of. All right, let's let's dig down now. Seth, life lesson number 12. I don't know what life lesson we're on at this point. Never dig straight down in Minecraft unless you want to trigger thousands and thousands of people and nobody wants to do that. So let's just focus on, on staying cool here. I can't see the entire screen because Seth's enormous brain is in my way. His, his brain is just so big, his head, the whole thing. I can't see the screen because you got such a smart brain. It's getting real dark down here. We need coal. We need to get coal so that we can make some torches. It's too dark and scary. Seth doesn't like the nighttime. Hey, we found our first iron deposit. Okay, um, I actually have to go back up and make some stone tools. So why don't we do that? And then we'll get ourselves some iron. Okay, so we now have uh, some stone tools got upgraded. Uh, let's go down. Let's get our first bit of iron. I also made a furnace so that we can smelt this iron. Look at us making advancements, making trouble in the world of Minecraft <laughs> or something. I don't know. What is this stuff? What am I looking at? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's granite. Has granite always looked like this? It's very ugly, actually. I would not put this on my countertops in my kitchen. Let's just put it that way. I still haven't found coal. I can't believe I haven't found coal. Also, I just heard a very scary noise. Is it daytime yet? Because I don't want to be in this cave anymore right now. Oh, look, the sun's coming out, Seth. <gasps> we survived our first night, dude. We did it. We survived. <laughs> There's a creeper. Let's go kill it in, in victory. Come here, creeper. You don't creep me out. Oop. Oh, nope, he's not gonna blow up. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Nope, hit him again. You gotta watch out for the blowing up creepers. We've done it. We got some gunpowder. Now we can make TNT. I don't know what we're gonna do with TNT, but we we could make TNT. Oh, I feel so accomplished. I got stone tools. I survived my first night and I successfully am raising a child. What do you think of our crib, Seth? What, what do you think of our house? Do you think it's, I mean, is it, is it worth showing off to the people? It's okay. It could be better, but it kept us alive. And that's what really matters, isn't it? I'm gonna smelt me up some iron. We'll just use some planks. I guess I could make charcoal myself, huh? Cause you can burn wood and turn that into charcoal and then you can use the charcoal to make uh, torches. Is that right? Maybe it's right, maybe it's not. But look at us, we made our first bit of iron. Not too shabby. But there you have it, guys. Seth and I have survived our first night together in Minecraft. We didn't get eaten by any zombies. And I say, that's a win for sure. But I know a lot of you guys wanted to see him. He's doing great. He's strong and healthy. He's growing. He's learning. He's absorbing everything around him. It's kind of amazing. He's He's pretty amazing. But we'll see if we continue this series. I love playing Minecraft and I have a feeling that he's gonna like it too. He was very, very interested in what I was doing on the screen. And as you saw, he kind of wanted to do it himself. So maybe we'll kind of progress our Minecraft world as Seth progresses in life. I've also been throwing around the idea of starting up a vlog channel, maybe doing a couple of vlogs just on my main channel and then starting a whole new channel where we just vlog every once in a while, maybe once or twice a week. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. Leave a comment, send a tweet on Twitter, or 
Instagram or all those fun social medias. But that is gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle right below us. And you can watch more videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.